Extra. Affinity Extra. Be Extra. Uh, okay, guys, you're locked in with DJ Marks here, and I've got another guest this week with me. We're talking to the amazing singer, Sabrina Hilaire. Sabrina, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> yeah i'm not too bad man. i'm not too bad i know we've been trying to get this interview locked in for a while so it's, it's good to finally have you here i, I blame you for everything <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> allow me man it, it, it gets crazy out here it gets crazy but it's good to have you here today um Thank so we're going to have this interview with you and just get to find out a bit more about your music and stuff but um, just for those that may not have heard about sabrina Heller before tell us who is sabrina Heller. oh this question this <laughs> can ah. <laughs> get this question all the time. Uh, uh, gospel artist, worship leader, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and lover of Jesus Christ. That's that's who I am. Uh, l- l- let's get deeper. <laughs> out, out of all that, behind the gospel music and everything else, who is Sabrina Hilaire? Oh, I'm just me, isn't it? Yeah, who, who is Sabrina Hilaire? <laughs> I'm just I'm just a woman here that just has a passion for helping people do you know what I mean and just yeah doing doing the will of God for my life and achieving my dreams you know the dreams that I have in my heart I just do anything that I can do to achieve that I know 50 cents said get rich or die trying we're not trying to do that but <laughs> you know what I mean we're just trying to you know yeah yeah. yeah I think that's about it. so obviously we know you're a singer when did you start out Singing, I've always been singing for as long as I can remember. Singing in front of the bathroom mirror with the hairbrush and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> but I mean, professionally, I'd probably say it was about, let's say about 2014. Okay. I think I brought out my first EP. I may have these dates wrong. There's yeah. a lot going on in my head. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's when I brought out like my first EP professionally, put it out and everything, so. Wow. And were there any artists that inspired you when you first started singing? Yeah, I did. You know, I used to listen to a lot of Ty Trebek, Kira Sheard. Obviously, Brandy is one of, you know, people that mm. I've, I've listened to for years since I was, you know, a younger, a younger Sabrina. Yeah. So, yeah, these are my inspirations. But I've just always loved being able to sing. Yeah. You know? I mean, just tell you, you can't really go wrong with those artists that you named. That they're all like great artists. I mean, I've I've been a big fan of like that era of music in terms of the Brandy, the mm. Monikas, the SWVs, and all those people from True. back in the day. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's, I mean, you're looking for getting inspiration from people in terms of the of singing and stuff like that. You can't go wrong to tell the truth. Definitely. So, how have you how have you found it as an artist though? Within like this all this COVID stuff that's been going on, and you know, been able to do the music or whatever else. It's been um, it's been a strange one, really. Obviously, I, I did bring out an EP last year, like yeah. in the middle of the whole lockdown mm-hmm. and everything. And it was something I was working on prior to that. Yeah. But in terms of just writing music and stuff, it's kind of been a bit difficult because it's like, how can I put this? I didn't want to be cliche and write about COVID. And, yeah, yeah. Because everybody was doing that at the same mm-hmm. time. Do you know what I mean? I think I just kind of took the time out really to just make sure that I was okay and my girls were okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but there's, there's songs there. You know, the songs still come. They're written. They're yeah, just yeah. sitting down there. It's all about timing, really. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very I mean. true. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've been one of those people that's had the privilege of um, hearing you sing in live. Um, and the one that always comes to memory is your album launch because it was mm. such a powerful evening um, in terms of the, the song that was, the song that was being delivered, the atmosphere there, you know, the people's response in terms of the worship and stuff like that. Mm. Um, as an artist, how important is for you when you're on stage, um, whether it be obviously things like album launches or any kind of live event, um, for you to really kind of bring people to that, that, that pinnacle place of worship where you clearly enter yourself as you're singing? Mm. Mm. it's very important because for me everything that I do doesn't mean anything unless the anointing of God or God is in it yeah, so at yeah. the end of the day I'm just the vessel so you know even at that album launch I remember losing my voice for about two weeks before singing even up until I got on the stage not being able to speak properly I, I think then, I remember you I remember you saying yeah, that yeah, yeah I remember that and but then, you still pulled it off no one would ever know 
listen, that weren't me, that was God. You know, he was <laughs> over and then I was just like, whoa, no one would have ever known anything. So yeah. it's just that 100% dependency on God and the Holy yeah. Spirit because, you know, the Bible says at the end of the day, if he's not in it, it's just going to be noise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and grass. So as long as he's in it and he does what he does, I do my part, which is turn up. Mm. and then he does his part so that's, yeah. that's very important otherwise what's the point yeah yeah i hear that mm-hmm. you know one of my favorite um tracks of yours um kind of goes in line with what we've been talking about already in, um, in terms of old school tracks is yeah. mystery um okay. i really like that track actually so uh, what was the the vision behind it and the, and the message you were trying to get with that particular track i know i know it was one of your older ones but like yeah. it's one of my favorites i'm always interested to know what people were thinking when they made these kind of tracks Oh, for, for me, whenever I'm writing songs, they always sort of minister to me first. Anyway, God yeah, is always yeah. ministering to me first before, you know, he's ministering to other people. So in the terms of the song Mystery, it's literally about just God's love. Like you can't fathom it. You can't understand yeah. it. You can't comprehend it. So no matter what, you know, situations and circumstances that you find yourself mm-hmm. in, mistakes that you make, whatever, it doesn't determine how much God loves you. He still yeah, loves you regardless. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we, you know, take the mick mm. and frustrate the grace of God. You understand? But it just <laughs> means that, you know, he, he still loves us because people love you conditionally. There's conditions. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But God is, is unconditionally. Yeah. He loves us first. He loves us just because he loves us. Yeah. And, and if you can't understand it. Do you know what I mean? There's times where you feel like I've got to run. I've got to hide. I can't mm-hmm. come to God. But actually you can. Yeah, because of yeah. that love you know so that was just yeah that was the basis of that that song just it's just becoming like a child and just thinking oh look you know yeah yeah yeah. I mean, one of the things I liked, um, like I said, because it's got that old school kind of vibe in terms of the track, mm. was um, watching the music video and like even the, the way you did that, it kind of reminded me of some of the old school videos. I mean, mm. the, the the dress sense there very reminded me of the um, kind of old school like Aaliyah and um, Monica okay. kind of vibes. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I thought, you know what, this it works. The, the the look of the videos works well. The track sounds like it was gelling with it so yeah i, I really like that so you know what, let's let's get these guys to check it out right now so go those of you listening on youtube you're going to get to watch the video right now um already joe you're about to hear the track so here we go sabrina hilaire with mystery There 
There's not a thing you can do to earn my love for you Because I loved you first before the world began It's all in my plan My perfect plan Oh, love such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be If you took your place from me Your love is such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be If you took your place from me Go. One thing remains for sure oh, oh, oh. I am your friend, I am your rock I am your God, just call oh, oh, oh. Seasons may come, seasons may go One thing remains for sure oh, oh, oh. I will be there for you through it all Your love is such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be If you took your place from me such a mystery Such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be If you took your place from me Your love Your love is such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be If you took your place from me Your love is such a mystery Don't know where I would ever be Okay, guys, we're back here. And like I said, I'm here with my guest, Sabrina Hilaire, today. Um, Sabrina, we've just had your track, Mystery. Um, but let's talk about your most recent project being the No Filter EP. Um, tell us a bit about that project. Again, share the vision behind it, um, you know, your thoughts behind the tracks, that kind of thing. Mm. So no, no Filter didn't even start as <laughs> No Filter, which is mm -hmm. funny. They, they never start how it, you know, it ends. I kind of wanted to do create something for women, yeah. Christian women. Do you understand? That kind of gave them that vibe of listening to Brandy or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's her name again? Mary J. Blige. Or, mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. it's like for me, I know that sometimes when I'm popping around the house or cleaning or whatever, I'm drawing for Brandy or something to put on. Yeah, yeah I've got yeah. my time where I worship and I listen, whatever, but certain times you just want to draw for that music. Yeah, but I yeah, wanted yeah. music that had that same kind of vibe that was clean, that still speaks about the same sort of issues and things that mm -hmm. we go through as women and is relatable. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. from a Christian perspective, do you know what I mean? Because, you know, when you're not in Christ, certain situations that you go through, you're going to deal with them in a different way. Yeah, yeah. And obviously as Christians, we have to deal with them, you know, in according to the Bible. So... That was the intention behind the whole project. Um, it was initially going to be an album, mm -hmm. and then there was just too many songs, so I had to split it into an EP. So there are still songs sitting down that are yeah, yeah. that was meant to go on that. That will probably go in a second part. But um, yeah, where the, the title "No Filter" came from it was just about you know what you know when you go through things and you, you feel like you, you're not able to say what you really want to say. Yeah, yeah. Because either you're thinking about how the other person is going to feel or how they're mm -hmm. going to react. And sometimes it's like you need to be able to get out your own truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, if you're going to be offended, you can, yeah, that's you, deal with that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is what I feel. You don't have yeah, to, yeah. you know what I mean, or whatever, but this is my truth. So mm -hmm. that, that's where the name came out for the song. And it's, and it's, it's so interesting because... Even when I brought out the EP, I remember someone listening to the title track, No Filter, yeah, and literally yeah. just breaking down. And I was thinking, that, why, why are you, why are you crying? I didn't understand. I didn't think <laughs> that so, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But for yeah. that person, it related mm -hmm. to them. Where in the point where they said they felt all their life they haven't been able to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just amazing the way God will use things to minister to different people. Yeah. People that are saved, people that are unsaved, 
mm-hmm. in his own way. You know, you just don't know yeah, yeah. what you're doing. So it may not sound like your traditional gospel music or whatever, but I'm just grateful that God is in it <laughs> and he's doing what he, do he has to do. to do through it. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's, that's it really. So what's, what's your favourite track on that EP then? <sighs> Tough one, right? It is, but I would say they're, they're all good for their own reasons. Yeah. But I would say my, <laughs> my favourite one is a track called Promise. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you want me to like go deep into the track? Uh, you, you can do that. I just wanted to know your favourite, but you've got to go deep into it. You know, you've started something now. You might as well go, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's fine. So Promise is basically based off of, let's say, two people uh, get into a relationship and Mm -hmm. you feel like the relationship is going a certain way and then it turns out that it wasn't or that other person's intentions Mm -hmm. weren't what you thought they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the time, I was watching this um, series called The Last Kingdom. I know the one, yeah. Yeah, I was watching this series called The Last Kingdom and I was all excited with all this, you know, the battles and the wars and mm. everything so I kind of used the idea of being on a battlefield and being mm. in a war you know and the way they, they they have plans and they have all these schemes and stuff and then they'll mm-hmm. trick people and then use that to kind of describe what was yeah, happening yeah, yeah. in this relationship relationship yeah kind of thing so it's like a battlefield and you know two opposing sides and whatever mm-hmm. so it's my favorite because I like the what I've done with the words yes, yeah, and yeah. the whole thing and just the way it comes comes together yeah, you, you know my, my favorite on that particular um ep is actually your track amazing um so again w- tell us about that one in, in particular amazing what was the, the vision behind it because i'm going to play that one um towards the end of the interview for the guys here so yeah give us a little mm-hmm. bit of background on on amazing what is this amazing <laughs> it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of very similar to like the whole thing about mystery mm-hmm. you know what I mean it's kind of very similar to, to what I'd say about that but it's just the fact that he's just amazing you get to his place sometimes with this journey that you go on with God you know what I mean it's up and down it's a roller yeah, coaster yeah. there's times where you feel far from him there's times where you feel close and there's times where you just get a revelation you're just like oh my gosh Lord you're, you're literally just amazing like I'm mm-hmm. just falling in love with you again you know and yeah just, just it just comes it just comes out yeah you know, yeah it just comes out in that time of worship to to god mm. you know sometimes it's hard to explain some there's songs there's songs where i would sit down and i'll be like right i'm gonna write this like for for example promise yeah, yeah? and then things songs like amazing or worship they'll just come out of my do you know what i mean out of my heart or out of my mm-hmm. spirit just in a time of worship or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. and then i just i just just write it you know and just put it out there so, yeah but you know what you, you said um that obviously the the project wasn't meant to be an ep it was actually meant to be an album originally yeah. so so what else can we expect from sabrina this year <laughs> are we going to get the rest of this um previous album or <laughs> i hope so you know i really do hope so I'm, I'm you know in the process of just shifting some things around yeah my life so that i can bring the focus back to to that because we all know this pandemic there's just been yeah, a lot yeah. going on you know, so yeah, but there's a song on there. It's called "No More Friends," mm-hmm. and um, like I said, I don't know why. It's all about relationships and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Christian people go through it as well. Mm-hmm, people, mm-hmm. people are single. People want relationships or whatever. And there's yeah. situations that we find ourselves in. And you're just like, what? How do I maneuver this, yeah, this situation? Yeah, yeah. So this song, "No More Friends," is just about being in the situation where you you like somebody whatever and they're like oh yeah we can be friends and I'm, like, like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, I don't need friends I've got yeah, 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 like, yeah. I'm looking for a husband or I'm looking yeah. for a wife so it's just you know and the whole no filter thing it's just coming out and just saying this is mm-hmm. what it is there's no point trying to act like we don't yeah yeah things, so. so is this going to be like a a no filter part two then or, or something along those kind of lines Probably yes. I'm not gonna <laughs> say too much. You never know. The, the name might change. It all depends on what yeah. God says. The name might change or whatever. But the songs are there. Okay. So where can people find you? They want to like follow you, your your music, your journey, and you know anything else you're doing. You know the same the same platforms: Instagram at Sabrina Hilaire, 
Facebook at Sabrina Hilaire Music. I don't really use Twitter that much, but I'm on there. Mm-hmm. I also have a new website, sabrinahilaire.co.uk, where you can find everything in one place. That's my music, cool. education, creative development, everything is on there. Cool. Well, Sabrina, it's been a, a privilege having you here today, finally, mm-hmm. um, getting you in for the interview. Uh, guys, definitely go and check out um, the platforms that she was saying, Instagram and you know Facebook, the whole lot. Um, definitely check out the website. Everything that she said is there um, in one place, sabrinahaler.co.uk. Sabrina, thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much, Marcus. You take care. No worries. And guys, here we go. We're going to get amazing from her EP, No Filter. Check it out. Amazing 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 See I've only been in love one time but I never knew a love like this till you knocked on my door And some say you can't fall in love with someone you can't see But they must be blind cause I see you all around and it's amazing Amazing Jesus you are Amazing Jesus you are Jesus you are Visit us for updates and shows at affinityextra.co.uk.